you hear? You hear now? Hmm? You hear now? So, hey. Melo, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about, Melo? Hmm? You want to talk to mommy? Go talk to mommy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 How does it feel being a young mom? Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, should I put the hoodie on or off? Nah, uh, it's fine like this. Let's show your beautiful African hair. Leave his hair. mane. Leave your his mane. mane that's like going away. But, okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know what you just said. <laughs> I mean that like uh, I know. one day, um, fresh cut. Like, hey man. One day. Hey man, I plead the fifth. Wow. Oh, yes. Come. Ah. So yeah. How does it feel being a young mom? How does it feel being a young mom? Mm. Um, it feels good. Mm. It feels good. I think I've I've always not I've always wanted to be a young mom. I think that it's it's how do i put this i don't know there's so many words to <laughs> um i don't know man i'm getting very distracted yeah. you guys are so cute young mom focus so. <laughs> yeah how does feel being oh no i feel good because i feel like i've always wanted to be not like I don't want like a really huge age gap between me and my children. Um, <laughs> so um I'm glad that I had him when I did. Um I feel like we're still living life. Like I think that you're sort of expected to just you i mean your life does change completely like it's a sacrifice of no like no doubt um you literally can't be any like this is what i learned okay let me let me break it down i could talk about this you are forever. going on you different me. things man. you triggered me you triggered me you triggered me you triggered me, you triggered me. <laughs> um okay basically my experience of being a young mom has changed a lot. Yeah. It's changed a lot. Um, from... It's really hard for me to focus. It's really hard for me to focus. No. 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 One time. One time. No. No. Mm. He's looking at me like, leave me and my dad alone. <laughs> anyway, being a young mom. We still haven't spoken about you being a young mom. I know. This was supposed to be a five minute segment. A five minute segment, hello. <laughs> okay, yeah, basically, right? So, initially, like, being. <laughs> being Get your hand out of my chest. Like giving birth, okay. I give birth, mm. and then, like, all of a sudden, like, your whole purpose changes, right? Me, okay, I was not that mom, say that, like, to you know, when Wait. people say, say bye bye to Melo, bye, bye, my nanny. Mm -hmm. uh, yet, I got lipstick on you now. I got lipstick on you now. I got lipstick on you now. Say that, 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 that. Ta -ta. Bye. Young mom. Wow. Okay, how does it feel being a young mom? Um, yeah, so basically from giving birth to me to like your responsibilities just like change immediately, right? But like I was not those moms that like you know like okay, I don't know if you've heard this, but like have you heard like people when they're like, Oh immediately when I saw his face, I fell in love and like I've never Are you trying to my babies on? No, I didn't say you guys do. I said I didn't fall in love with him the moment that I saw him. Did you? Unless I showed him the video. Oh yeah, Shema. He was so cute. Because I was like, out. Drugged. <laughs> I was drugged. 
Screw, screw. Yeah. And then, um, what happened? I was dragged, number one. So then he was trying to, like, he, like he's like, look. I had a C-section, by the way, in case you're wondering. So obviously, like, there's this, like, curtain thing where you're like, the baby comes out. Then they're like, the baby's here. And then I'm like, what? Like, it's been five minutes. And then he's also like, It's Whoa. actually very quick. And he's and like, was like, oh, where's my phone? phone? Like, it's supposed what? to be out. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, hi. Ah, I'm like, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. He's no, like, no, wait, no, no, no. wait, because like ah, they had not like cut yeah. the umbilical cord yet. So like yeah. they're like, there's a baby ticket, and he's like, oh, oh. And they're like, ah, I'm they're not then, not took it. Then, then he took it. Right? I knew it. <laughs> Disappoint <laughs> me again. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, I ended up taking the pictures and the videos, and wow. Yeah, and like literally, like the whole time, like I couldn't hear because I was still getting stitched up, and all I could. And I remember my guy, and he like she was stitching, and she like looked over the curtain, and she's like to me, "He's falling in love. Can you hear that?" And like literally the whole time, all I hear him is saying like, "Hi, you like what are you saying? You're okay?" I think he was crying, and so obviously so boy, traumatic experience. He was you. in like a really dark space, and all of a sudden mm. bright lights, and who are these people? You know, so. He was like, that oh, well. like, you don't worry, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I remember the first thing he said was like, yo, he has big cheeks. <laughs> big cheeks. Yeah. Pull it in case. So, anyway, um, that, for me, like, I was, oh, and then he brought the baby to me, like, oh, look, look, look. And then I was like. I was there like, huh? But I couldn't see because he was wrapped pictures, up in blankets. Like the pictures are too good. And he, he kept looks. going, he kept going, look, look. And I was like, I can't see anything. Like the whole time, I was just like, I can't see anything. And he was just like, oh, okay, fine. Then he went away with the baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, then, he, then only afterwards, then when, like, when I did my chest to chest situation, like, then I was like, okay, 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 okay. And then, like, Yo. So how, how, was that, how was that experience? <laughs> First kid, young mom. Yeah, so it was it was it was good. Like I learned, so I want to sum it down, right? Yeah. Like three things. You've got two minutes. <clears throat> okay, okay. So the first thing that I did, like basically just being home, right? The first thing that I learned was your time is not your time. <laughs> what you wanna do comes second to what Melo wants to do. He rules your life. He rules your entire life. Like, yeah. Basically, if I elaborate, you can't pee when you want to pee. You can't poop when you want to poop. Can't you can't eat. You, wanna you can't sleep when you want to sleep. Can't you can't take a shower when you want to take a shower. No. You have to wait for him to fall asleep or to what it, or if whoever is able to watch him can watch him so that you can shower. But otherwise, if it's just you and him, if you're not if he's not sleeping, nothing that you want to do is going to happen. And that's it. Second thing um, that I learned was just how hard it is to watch him, like, get hurt. Um, and sometimes even just people not in touch, like, he's never gotten hurt. Like, obviously not in touch with his child. But, like, basically just every, like, stumble and fall, like, that he's had, like, has been like, oh, my God. And it's crazy because, like, as the mom, like, you're seen as the nurturer, right? And, like, every time he falls and stuff, like, I want to be like, oh, come here, you know, like, my chest is here for you. But he also, dad also wants to comfort him, you know, and, like, me, we find ourselves, not fighting over me, but, like, it's mine. we have fought over him. It's <laughs> like, mine. we have, like, the has been like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, like, I'm comforting him, and then I'm like, bring him here, and he's like, no, I'm still comforting you, and I'm like, that but time I want to comfort him. He's quiet, he's looking at me <laughs> in the eyes, he feels safe, but no. Yeah, because I also want to comfort him and make him feel safe. <laughs> That's the second thing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the third thing. The third thing is that it's really fun. It's a, it's, it's such an it's such a great journey. Like you always okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, the third thing is that it's such a joy to just watch, and it's so miraculous to just watch him and be like, "I'm the chief. You were in my stomach. I felt you kick." And now you're out here. I'm looking at you. So you do feel the way I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So why do you feel offended when I say the statement I like saying? What statement? You came from me. Yeah, he likes saying that a lot. He's like, you came from me. A little bit more vulgar than that. Mm. But you came from me. Yeah, so like it's weird to like, it's, it's 
such a journey, but like mm. it's been great. So wrap it up. How does it feel being a young man? Great. I don't think you should be 35 years old with no children. There's nothing wrong with that if you choose to have your kids at that They're time. Not, like yeah. that's but to each their own. Like, but for me, like it's really important for me to mm. not be. I mean, the age gap between me and my mom is 20 years. Yeah. We like best of both worlds. So yeah. you remember. Wow. Okay. Mm. So, how has it been? Oh, wait. How does it feel to be a young dad? It feels great. You know, having this little human here, I've, I've always wanted a kid since I was like 26. And initially it was 23. 23. He wanted a kid at 23. I was like, if the money was I right, three years younger than you. If you want to kid at twenty two, me, I must have a kid at twenty. <laughs> you miss me? No, but but but. Must be absent, man. Actually, thank you for bringing that up. We had just met and we were talking about. Well, not just met, but we were involved. I think we, were we met we were when together. I was like nineteen, 19. or something. And then we and dated I was yeah. the year that I was turning twenty. Yeah. Mm. And then we had the talk, and we were like, how many kids do you want? Like, yay. when? Yay. When would you like to have these kids? And then the topic came out, and I was like, 23. And she did the math. She's like, that's this year. She's like, nah. So, nope. yeah, then 26 came, and I'm like, hey, man, let's try to have a kid. And she's like, nope. My mom will kill me. I'm still in school. And Did you really say, let's try to have a kid? Not in those words. So you, in your mind, you were trying. No, I wasn't trying. <laughs> I wasn't trying. I asked mm. I don't just do things and say, hey, hey, guess what? There's a surprise on the way. No, like, I wanted a kid at 26, mm. but I had to also understand that that's a selfish decision if I made it alone. Mm -hmm. So, waited two years, I'm 28 now, turning 29, and we've got a kid. I've never been happy. Mm -hmm. Like, he's a handful. Like, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. And he wants you to focus on him, which is good. Because it means that he enjoys our company and we are not being fed. Head on, step away. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, man, I really enjoy having a kid and too many more years. You know, if the, the ideal situation for me is for him to have a sibling by the time I'm 31. I feel like the crazy thing, right? I, 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 I was going to say something else, actually. <laughs> what do you think I was going to say? I don't know, but what I was going to say is that before we had Melo, he was the one who was like, um, what did you say again? Oh, he would be, he was like, no, I want four. Oh, yes, he's always said, he said, I want four kids, I want four kids. Then I said to him, no, I don't want four kids because for me that's a lot. I'm not getting pregnant four times. Like the only way that we can have four kids is if we have two and then twins, you know. Ah. But like for example, oh. if we you try don't want siblings. <laughs> yeah, it's the same now. Ah. Ah. <laughs> siblings. Ah. Siblings. Ah. Ah. <laughs> only you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying. Yeah. So I was like, no. Um, ah! <laughs> yes, no, no. Um, I don't want four kids. Uh, that's just way too many kids. Then I said to him, because if we have four kids, we need to have a like a station wagon or something. Me, I'm not driving a H1 five. for kids. A young, nah, X, X7. X7 has seven seats. I was about to say, X5 has five seaters. No, so. no, no, no. You can have two well, you can, small ones. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no. Mark me absent. So then, In the comment section, guys, please convince her to have four kids. Hell no, you don't want four kids. Oh, hell no. Okay. <laughs> Cover my son's ears when you say such things. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. But you don't have, you don't want four kids. No. Actually, after having Milo, he, that's why I was saying I'm shocked that he said that because after having Milo, he was like, no, I just, I think I just want one kid. I don't want any more kids I want to spoil him. This. Like, I, I really, I really want to spoil him. like, do you think North and Chicago and the rest? I don't know who you're talking spoiled. about. You're Can talking you about cities and the direction of the <laughs> campus. 
Kenya's so, kids. They are drinking, they're not spoiled. They are. He's so gonna, it's not about you. You're gonna, gonna break child, my necklace. He's gonna charcoal Chicago. Yes. Shy. Yeah, I think they call him shy. Or is it a boy? I don't know. But anyway, basically, the point of what I'm saying is he was like, this whole year, the last year, he's been saying, yeah, nah. He just wants one child. He wants to spoil Melo and he doesn't want to like saturate. Tim. He doesn't want to saturate himself with like siblings to think of or take care of or whatever. Yeah. But then I'm like, no, like having one kid is so selfish. To who? To the kid. He needs siblings. Yes, boy. Yes. Tell Bob, say, Baba, I need a sibling. Not now. Come on. Mm -hmm. Not now, but no. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. No, say I need a sister. No? To soften this heart, this heart. You need to He's not complaining. He's like sister, what sister? You wanna be alone, ne? No? Only child, ne? No? Say I'm indifferent. It's okay. Do you want a sister? Do you wanna be the only child? Yeah. You heard? Nah, that was just. You guys heard it first? He wants to be the only child. Ne? Yes. Say yes. Say yes. See, he's not saying it. He's not saying it. Yes. He's just but, uh, mm. but anyways, it's been it's it's been a very great journey. It's been tough at times because I need a breather. He can be very intense, but I'm not complaining. I really enjoy every moment I get to spend with him because I know a lot of people don't have that opportunity to spend that time with their kids. So I'm very, very grateful. And yeah, maybe one day you have a sibling by 31. Yeah. No? Mm -hmm. He's not buying the sibling thing. <laughs> You want a pet, rather? You want a doggy? You want a puppy? You want a puppy? He's like, what's that? He's <laughs> never seen a doggy. Yeah, never. <laughs> the quarantine is messing our kids up, guys. Whoever you see them, who has them? Your brother. My brother is. Your brother is bigger, bigger, mm -hmm. big dogs. <laughs> Big dogs. All right, guys. Pet bulls. <laughs> Imagine a pet bull against my little one, my little Moana. No, 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 no. Can't have a pet bull with my little Moana. Mm -hmm. mm. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for watching. Please. Thank you for commenting. Continue thank you for to liking. Comment, continue thank to you for engage. subscribing. If you guys have really any, appreciate it. Oh, sorry. If you guys have any suggestions on what topics you'd like us to cover, or if you just want to find out certain things about us, please drop them down in the comments below, and then we will definitely look at them and see if it's suitable content for us. Because this is a child-friendly page. Yes, wow. Sometimes. <laughs> guys thank you don't forget to like share subscribe yeah